Check this out. Space. The final frontier. Now you see it. Now you don't. That's exactly what it looks like when Devo disappears. That is the warping signature of someone moving into a pocket dimension. Does someone want to explain what that means? Einstein postulated that it was theoretically possible for a region-specific fold in the space-time to exist between the four dimensions that we typically think of. Yeah, that doesn't help. It's... <sighs> it's another dimension. One that you can enter or exit at any location in the world. Like how DeVoe captured me in that alley, but then he brought me back out just somewhere above the city. Are you saying that DeVoe's lair is in a pocket dimension? Cisco, this is great. Can we track him? That I'm uh, still working on. What is good YouTube, Watch you here with a video on The Flash Season 4. So The Flash Season 4 is still on a break. I've got no idea why the show keeps going on a break every single year. No wonder the viewership is down this year by 400,000 views-ish. That's mainly due to the villain being pathetic and the villain is really boring. So I hope next season they really sort it out. So the show is coming back on the 10th of April, which isn't too far away now. We are on the 29th of March, so it's not too far away. That episode will be called Null and Annoy which is episode 17. So we have some information about the up and coming episode after that which is episode 18 which is called Lose Yourself. I know that's an Eminem track so I don't expect any freestyling from Cisco. Maybe Harrison like a Harry freestyle would be cool. So we've got a synopsis and it sounds very interesting. Ralph considers crossing a line to defeat the Thinker. When Barry and Team Flash finds a way to enter the Thinker's lair, Ralph considers crossing a dangerous line to defeat DeVoe. Meanwhile Joe is concerned by Harry's recent behavior. Now that's pretty interesting because we know the thinker's lair is in this pocket dimension. So let's break down the video and we're gonna go over how we think that the Flash will actually defeat the thinker. So we can presume within episode 18, the team will find a way into the pocket dimension where the thinker has been hiding for such a long time. We already know that Edwin Gauss will have the ability to enter different dimensions and that's most likely how Barry, Team Flash and Ralph would go into his lair. But Ralph crossing the line to defeat the thinker is absolutely crazy because Ralph only has ability to shape shift and basically take any bullets and stuff so bear in mind that the thinker actually wants his abilities and wants to kill him in order so he can shape shift to the original thinker obviously being Clifford DeVoe obviously Neil Sandland's body it's pretty dangerous for him to even consider crossing that line so in episode 9 when Barry was stuck in the lair he was stuck in DeVoe's lair so this will not be the first time Barry goes there if in fact he does go there but he knows how to escape you know the episode 9 was the episode where him and the thinker kind of had a fight and then he got framed for murdering him when he didn't really so now Flash has a way to defeat the thinker where he at least knows how to get to the pocket dimension which is very interesting but how do they defeat the thinker is harry the key to outsmarting the boring villain which is called the thinker now people say war stew you're wrong he's not boring he's clever he's not clever because he's not really done anything so although that barry tard samatar said the cerebral inhibitor is how they defeated devoe is it really because he never they never said it worked joe is concerned by harry's recent behavior like we said in a theory video i think about a week ago harrison wells may go mad may become the mad scientist via the thinking cap because he's obsessed with looking for a way to defeat devoe he might turn into some crazy mad scientist or is harry even going to be a villain because this thinking cap's going to turn him into some crazy person or is the thinker going to manipulate him because he's got that kilgore kind of can manipulate um like technology devices but we're, i guess we'll find out in like later episode so according to a website called spoiler tv harry and the harrisons is going to be a title of episode 21 one of the final episodes of the 23 episode so that's assuming this title is right it sounds pretty interesting so you would suggest that the council of wells is going to come back because who better to help harrison wells than different versions of mantle self so we have the doppelganger could return harry is certainly at a pace and place where he needs 
needs some help and he recently did like create his own signature thinking cap which helped them found the last two metas which is kind of interesting so maybe the council world is coming back so barry allen can defeat the thinker quite easily by using his speed not using his speed by running really fast using his speed by thinking very fast to the point where devoe can't even comprehend infinity ways to defeat devoe so barry just thinks really fast and so fast that the thinker can't comprehend at the speed that barry's thinking in order to defeat devoe to think of a plan that he wouldn't be able to mind control or hear like because now he's got the abilities where he can hear people's thoughts so if if barry was actually thinking that fast devoe wouldn't be able to keep up with him but then again i guess you're going to say something like that so if barry did this during flash time it would be pretty cool or they could actually just use the, the ability which is the way how iris west got the speedster ability in the first place just have that meta touch him take his abilities give it to somewhere or someone else then the worst villain ever is defeated now i can't understand how a lot of people actually think the villain this season is actually interesting because to me he's so boring i love the flash but the villain is so boring it was better at the start of the season when neil sunderland it's a different person each week now devoe's actually a female well he's not really it, his mind is still clifford devoe but his body is a female so guys let me know in the comment box down below how do you think that barry is going to defeat the finger and also do you think ralph will cross the line and go to his lair because ralph is pretty weak ralph's not really got any powers except for shapeshifting anyway guys this is a short video about episodes 17 and 18 and also how i think that maybe we have the way to defeat the thinker now and also just a brief kind of what could happen in harry and the harrisons episode episode 21 when i think the council of wales will be actually returning anyway guys please like subscribe and comment it would be awesome hit the bell button because youtube does not actually notify people that there is a new video unless you click the bell button which i know is very weird um so click the bell button join team war stew and the warheads and i will catch you guys in another video very soon guys catch you later